This episode of B-Box is brought to you by Doritos Dodgeball Challenge. Hello and welcome to a very stylish episode of B-Box, your one-stop shop for all things Bebo. I'm Alice. I'm James and we are so fashion forward this week because we've got Bebo user and aspiring model B Pirate Hooker in the studio. That's right, you might remember Bee from her slot a few weeks back in Bebo Heroes. We loved her so much that we've invited her to the studio to be our very first Bebo superhero. A title reserved for the creme de la creme of Bebo users. And if you want to be a superhero next week, just tell us about your group, page or video. I'm Bebox Yo Oli, and this is what's coming from this week's Bebox. Find out who's got balls of steel on the dodgeball court. James meets up and coming musician Steve Appleton. And we put your questions out to Miley Cyrus. Ah! Alice! Oh, well, you know, we're trying to get a sneaky peek at the Doritos Dodgeball Challenge Arena in a top secret location. Okay. Come on, you're not helping. Wow, the court seems like it's nearly ready to go. Yeah, but those cannons look really scary. I wonder how they work. Well, Alice, funny you should ask. Users can control the cannons from their computers at home. To find out more, visit bebo.com forward slash Doritos. But they're not finished yet, so don't touch anything. Oh, this looks like the master computer that controls all the cannons. Yeah, but it's not ready till next week. It looks nearly ready. I mean, what would happen if I just pressed this humongous giant red button? Sequence initiated. Oh, nothing. Throughout May, you can aim and fire these cannons at the 31 dodgeball teams who are taking part. b will be keeping up to date on all the action, so keep watching to find out more. The winning team will be whisked off to Las Vegas, USA, to compete against the World Dodgeball Champion, the San Diego Crossfire. Woo! Come back soon to see the Doritos Dodgeball game in action, see some celebrities getting pelted, and to see b exciting journey to the Las Vegas final. Ah! I'm bored, let's go. Nothing happened. Why are you just lying there on the floor? Oh. <laughs> I'm joined by the gorgeous Bee, aka Bee Pirate Hooker, who is our superhero for this week. Bee, thanks for joining us in the studio. It's all right. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, well, I'm Bee, I'm 17, and I'm from Leamington Spa in the Midlands. You've got a massive fan base, you've got over 14,000 fans now, <laughs> yeah. right? friends, sorry. Um, how did that come about? Well, I've had Bebo since I was like, you know, 13. At first it was just, you know, like friends that I know. But then once I put up my images, um, I started getting, getting more and more people adding me. Okay, B, now you're going to show me how to pose properly like a proper model to yeah. make the best of myself. Of you course. ready? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Shall we start with the faces? Because obviously, absolute train wreck going on here. How do I make the most of it? I always just kind of like squint your eyes a bit, like you're just kind of, you know, looking at someone that you don't like and you're just like, oh, okay. I don't really like it. I'll think of James. Okay. <laughs> just open your mouth just a tiny bit. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, I think that's definitely got it. Do something with your body, like angle it. Okay, so you, like angle it to the side. You make it look so effortless. <laughs> I make it look like I've got some kind of back problem. <laughs> okay. Is there a way to make your legs look a bit longer, I guess? I always like to kind of like cross them over like that because then you kind of look a bit taller and then you can kind of like stand like that but then kind of like tilt it round. Oh, I so like, just kind of... I like this one. Yeah, I could get used to this. Is there any way to make your feet look a bit less I always grubby pretend, shoes? you know, like you've got like a broken ankle or something. You kind of like, you know. Oh. <laughs> okay, of all the tips so far, this is the most ridiculous to be fair to be. Okay. Ooh, good though. <laughs> that, that does look like maybe I've got a gammy foot. <laughs> <laughs> B, thanks so much for joining us in the studio and thanks for being our superhero this it's week. It's all right. My pleasure. You've picked the questions. We're going to get the answers from Miley Cyrus. Let's go. Um, this question's from Amy and it's, what is the best thing about being famous? You know, I am young, but I've still got to experience a lot and I've got to travel and meet so many interesting people. And I'm also still in school. And so, I mean, getting to, instead of, hear about you know all these places that I'm getting traveled to like Rome and Madrid and uh, the UK and everywhere instead of, instead of just reading about them I get to go there so I think that's pretty cool. I've got a question here from Bebo user Maddie. If you had one wish from a fairy godmother what would it be? Maybe I, I would wish for gossip sites to go away. I think they're so hard not only on the people that are on there the celebrities but I think the kids as well <coughs> is because they're starting to see people I mean I am normal, and if I was any smaller, I would be too skinny, and if I was any bigger, I'd be too fat, and there's never perfect, you know? And if they see that and, and think, well, 
you know, me on the red carpet or this and that, and they think, oh, that's what you're supposed to look like, and, you know, look the way you should. I think it just all gets people mixed up, not just only this, not only the celebrity, but also the kids as well reading it. I just think it's all kind of trash. Poison Ivy wants to know, if you could travel back in time, what year would you like to visit for the day and why? The 80s, <laughs> so I could tease my hair, wear leggings, and listen to rock and roll. Steve Appleton, welcome to Bebox. How's it going there? Your song's called Dirty Funk. We're gonna see how clean you are. Okay. Longest time you've gone wearing the same pair of underpants? A couple of days. Yeah, not, that's not Festival, too bad. that's not too bad. How messy is your bedroom? Yeah, disgraceful. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like a bombshell, like some sort of like World War II scene. Do you know how to iron a shirt? Yeah, I do actually iron my, I iron my clothes. My mum sort of washes them, but I... Okay, so it's kind of... Oh, yeah, it's partnership. Well done, you've passed the, you're actually well, quite clean, clean test. Or... What's your favourite food? Aromatic duck, rolled up in the pancakes. Pancakes. Yeah, mm. bit of hoisin sauce, yeah. cucumber, and occasionally a prawn cracker in there as well. Who would play you in a movie of your life? Um, well, my favourite actor is Johnny Depp, so hopefully if he's up for it, I'll be up for him doing it. Steve Appleton, those are all your questions. Is that it? That is but it. But I'm enjoying myself. Oh, well, time flies when you're getting good questions. Please thought. Uh, I'm really pushing for Bogner Redis, actually, yeah. It's Ashby de la Zouche every time for me. Ashby de la Zouche is a pile of... Oh, hi! <laughs> nice. Um, we are taking B-Box on the road and we want your help deciding where we should go. That's right. All you have to do is leave us a comment on our page and tell us why we should visit your home, town or city and we can be there in the next two weeks. Yeah, we are taking over a town! No, Come on! Technically a visit and a picnic, yeah? Don't say takeover. Oh. All right, see you next week. It's getting nice. No.